Ah! Oh, Ida, have I told you how rad your fang looks today? Whatever it is, no. And your hair is like, girl. I'm not teaching you magic tonight. I'm sleepy. I'm a sleepy little owl. Please, Ida, please. How am I supposed to earn my witch's staff if I don't know any spells? No. Sleep. <gasps> Sparkle thing. Oh, this? Ooh. Nope. Teach me one spell, and I'll give you your sparkle thing. I respect your cunning, but I also hate you for it. If you want a witch's staff like mine, don't make me repeat myself. <gasps> witch's staffs have power embedded into them. Gimme! But before one is earned, every witch needs to know how to cast spells on their own. Now... Tonight, I will show you how to create light. Yawn. Who needs another boring spell lesson when you could be learning all the fun ways a demon could kill you? Look how teethy! Fight, fight! Be quiet, I need to focus. Now, humans think magic is made out of thin air, but that's stupid. Everything comes from something. Let me ask you, kid. Where do you think magic comes from? Um, from the heart? Actually, you're right! <gasps> no, really! It comes from a sack of magic bile attached to a witch's heart. Oh, gross! Can I keep that? No. Now, everything depends on the spell circle. The bigger the circle, the more powerful the spell. But how can I, little old loose, do magic if I don't have a magic bile sack? You know, I'm not actually sure. What? I know witches did magic differently in the past, but I never bothered to figure out how. <laughs> Ida! Don't worry, you'll figure it out. Now, whew, I need to lie down. That's it? Wait, I, I need to see you do the circle thingy again. I I'll record it on my phone this time. Smile! You're on camera! One more spell won't kill you. Ugh, fine. Now, you see, the spell circle is really key because... Ooh, boy. Looks like one more spell killed Ida. Ah! Oh my gosh, my obsession with spells knocked out Ida. I'm a monster. Bap. Yep, she's out. Bap. <laughs> Just making sure. We should get help, right? Boiling rains, remember? No, let her try! It'll be funny! But what if Ida's dead? Shiny thing. Big nest. Remember when her head got cut off last week? That woman could survive anything. She's probably just tired from staying up all night chasing shrews and voles. Well, we can't just leave her on the floor. <laughs> 
sorry for pushing you, Miss Ida. Please don't hurt me when you wake up. Should I bap her again? Just let her rest, you little goober. Come on, let's go downstairs. Bap! 